Hello everyone, welcome to Let's Grab It episode number two. Let's Grab It is a series where I showcase the creation of vector art using Gravit Designer, a free cross-platform and fully featured vector design application. I will include a link to their website below for more information. Today the subject will be dogs. Please feel free to pause the video as needed in order to follow along and be sure to ask any questions you may have in the comments below. Thank you for watching and let's get started. We will begin by creating an Instagram post template from the home screen and then press R to select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle in the center of the screen. You can also choose the rectangle tool from the top menu, but I do recommend learning the shortcut. Once the rectangle is drawn, let's round the corners to about there. And then holding shift, let's resize the head a little bit to about that size and make sure you center it again and snap it to the canvas. For the color, I want to go with like a kind of a light tannish brown. So choose a color that works for you And again, you can see me playing here. It's, it's, it can be a little difficult to choose that first color, but make sure you pick something that you're happy with. That looks good to me. Now we want to take this rounded rectangle tool. We want to copy it with control C, control V over to the left side. And then without holding shift, let's shrink it down to about that size, roughly there and then send it to the back of the canvas. Now with that object selected, we want to drag the color down in the color panel. Just select where the original color was and drag straight down just a little bit to create a little bit of shading. Once that's done, round the corners all the way in so it's fully rounded. Now we'll take that ear, control C, control V to copy and paste it over to the other side of the head and let it snap in. Now you can see we have ears on either side of the head. Now press E to select the ellipse tool and let's drag out a circle roughly that size on the face. For the color, we want to choose the same color as the ears and basically drag it so it just covers the bottom part of that rounded rectangle. Then press Ctrl C, Ctrl V to copy and paste it over. Once there, select both objects holding shift and align them to the center of the rounded rectangle. Now press E to select the ellipse tool again. And let's draw a small oval, roughly that size, for the eye. We then want to go into the color and select like a dark blue, really, really dark. Uh, not quite black, but dark. And then Ctrl C, Ctrl V to copy and paste it. And then drag it over to the other side of the head. Then select both eyes holding shift and then move them so that they align to the center of the head. Here you notice I resized them a little bit. I felt they were just a little too big. You can make them whatever size suits you. But if you do move them around, select them both with shift and then align them to the center of the head again. Now take this eye, control C, control V to copy and paste. And then I want you to take the edge and hold shift and alt. Now what this does is it resizes that shape, it constrains it and resizes it from the center. So it basically goes out from the eye in the same shape. Once this is done, set the opacity to about 20%. Basically we're just going for like a dark ring around the eye here. Now here I deleted the other eye because I decided I wanted to finalize the one eye and then copy it over. Take that center shape, control C, control V to copy and paste and then align it to the center and give it a white or a really light gray coloring for the pupil. And then drag a box to select the entire eye, hit control C, control V and drag it holding shift to the other side of the head. Then select both groups with shift and then align them to the center. Let them snap to the center of the head. And now you can see a face starting to take shape. Now for the nose, what I want to do is I want to see how we can make this. I'm thinking of triangle, but I'm not entirely sure yet. I think we'll come back to the nose. Let's flesh out a little more of the dog itself. We're going to go back. We're going to hit R 
to grab a rectangle, and we're going to make a collar now. Give it the same color fill as the darkness of the center of the eyes, and then send it to the back with control shift down, and then make sure it's centered to the head. Now I want you to press R for rectangle, drag out a rectangle about this shape, and round the corners down to about 24, and give it a nice red coloring. This is going to be for the tongue. Now a trick here is I want you to press Control X to cut the shape, select the rounded rectangle head and hit Control V. What this does is it pastes that new tongue shape right on top of the head shape in the layers. This allows you to have it right where you need it when you move it over. Now drag it to right to the center of the head and then make sure it snaps to the center. And then you see me move it up there and just drag the shape down. So now we have a tongue sticking out. Now I want to add some details to the, the collar. So press E for circle, or ellipse, draw out a small circle and give it a nice gray coloring. You can see there I wanted a little smaller. So holding shift, I reduced the size. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Now, control C, control V, and then copy it over to the other side. And you'll notice something I do here in order to get things perfectly aligned is I'll select both shapes with shift. And then you'll see when I drag them, it lets it center it to the actual the dog head itself. I do this a lot. Take that circle shape, control C, control V to copy and paste it, drag it over to the edge, and then control shift down to send it to the back. And then do the same thing on the other side. This creates that sort of 3D illusion on the collar. Now, you'll notice a lot of the times when I'm drawing that I will take the entire drawing select it all and hold shift to constrain it to keep the sides the same. You'll do this quite a bit as you're moving the document, the drawing around on the document because you want to get it just right. And sometimes I'll start drawing a little bigger and then I'll realize I want to move it around a bit and that's perfectly fine. I think now we're going to focus on drawing the body. So press R to select rectangle and draw a rectangle right about there. Round the corners down to I'd say about 85, 80? somewhere in there, between 80 and 85. Give it the same fill as the face. And then holding Alt, I wanna take it and just bring it in about the same width as the head, I think. Roughly right about there, yeah. Now take another rectangle, round the corner all the way down, and we're gonna center it to the body. So you'll see it snap in there and center. I think I want it a bit smaller. But no, no, I kind of like it the way it was. So we'll recenter it on there. And sometimes the centering can be a little weird. Select both shapes and go up and select subtract. This is going to cut that new shape from the body, creating this shape. Make sure you send it to the back with control shift down. Now I want you to draw another rectangle at the base of the body. You can see right there, covering up the base. And then select both shapes and subtract. This makes them flat at the bottom. So you can see now we have the, the at bottoms of the legs there. Now we want to convert to a path. And we can either right click convert to path or hit control shift P. And we're going to drag some of those. Huh? Hmm, not sure why those points aren't dragging. I'm selecting them all, but for, for some reason that one point isn't. So we'll just leave it this length. Now I want you to press R. Draw another rectangle. Put it right over the body. Right about there. And then we're going to control shift down to send it to the back. And then give it the same coloring as the ears and the front nose. Then make it slightly darker. Yep, and then move it right about there. Now, I want you to press E to select the lips tool. Give it the same color as the back, body. And then drag it over and make sure it snaps to the bottom with this square. And, and I, basically, we're just trying to make little hips here. So drag it over until it's right about, I'd say, there-ish. Yeah, that looks good. And then Control c Control v to move it over. Now, whoop, didn't mean to grab that. Hold on. 
Make sure you've got just the object you want, Control c Control v and then drag it over, and if you hold Shift, it'll constrain it on a straight plane. And then you'll see me select both shapes, again holding Shift, and I'll move them around to make sure they snap to the center. Alright, good. So now you can see like the back end of the, the dog, the hip sitting there. It's looking good so far. Now, something I'm going to do here real quick, and this is not something that we've done in another video, but I want you to press P to select the pad tool. And we're going to go up to the top of the head, and basically, we're going to drag out a custom shape for some hair sitting at the top. Now for that shape, we're going to select the border, we're going to hit delete, and then we're going to change the fill to the same color as the hair. Now we're just going to move it over. Now the shape of this doesn't really matter at the bottom because the, the colors are going to blend into the head. This is mainly just for details. Now I decided I want those ovals to be a little bit darker. I'm thinking maybe 15%? No, not dark enough. I think more like 10%. So select them both and change the opacity over to 10%. And there you go. Didn't want to save it. Guess we could have though. Alright, again, we're going to select the entire dog and hold shift to resize it and center it to the canvas. Now, the tongue needs to be back up to the front, so we're going to select the entire body shapes and send it back with control shift down. Now, you can see the dog is really starting to take shape now. We're going to grab that path tool again with P, and we're going to try to draw a tail. So we're going to do the same thing. If you hold Alt, it'll cut that shape. And you can see you can hold Alt when you click the point. Boom. And then there it is. And then take that shape, delete the border, and then give the coloring. Uh, let's give it the same color as the face. There you go. And then send it to the back with Control shift down. And there you go. Now you got a little tail. I actually think it'd probably be a little bit bigger. Um, now I don't want to modify a point. Let's just, let's just make it physically bigger and then we'll just kind of move it down a little. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, I hit control S a lot. Let's go ahead and save it to the cloud. Let's, I have a, let's grab it folder on the cloud, the grab it cloud, and I'm going to name it dog. And there you go. All right. So this is looking good. We still got to work on that nose and the feet, but we'll get there. Now for the feet, I don't know if I want to do the traditional rounded feet. So let's select the ellipse tool with E, drag out a circle, and then draw a rectangle over it and subtract it to give a half circle. Let's give it the same color as the nose or the front mouth. Now that doesn't look bad, but I would like to do just a little more detail than that, I think. I want to do something a little more. Let's select the rectangle tool, give it rounded corners down to about, I'd say maybe 10 or 11. And then we're going to move this right over the foot right there and let it snap to the bottom. Now with control C, control V, we're going to let it snap to the side, holding shift, we'll reduce it just a little bit. We're going to do this two more times, control C, control V, move it over, let it snap to the top and side and drag it down with shift. And then one more time, control C, control V, move it over, let it snap and drag it down with shift. Now we have four toes. You want to press R, draw a rectangle over the bottom. Now, I want to see if this will cut from all four at the same time. It will not. Okay, no big deal. So what we'll do is take that bottom shape and we'll copy it over like four times. Select one, select a toe, subtract. Select another circle, select another square, select a toe, subtract. Do this until you've done it to all four. There you go. Now you have four toes, let them snap to the bottom and to the center. Yeah, I think these are going to look a lot better. Now for the coloring. Um, let's take that first toe and give it the nose color. Take a third toe and give it that same coloring. Now for the other two toes, let's copy that color and drag it... Let's see, do we want it darker, lighter? You, you can pretty much play around. If you drag around in that specific area, you're basically going to be following that same color palette. 
So you can kind of do this however you want. I think I went a little too far there. Let's drag it back. We'll go slightly darker. That works for me. And then we'll copy that one over. Okay. Yeah, I like this. So we're going to copy this and make sure it's snapped to the bottom. We're going to copy and paste it. We're going to flip it. Let's get rid of that half circle. Now let's take the copied shapes, flip it, and drag it over and let it snap. There we go. You can see those toads have a little more detail to them. I like that. Oh, actually, those small toads were supposed to be the same color as that. And there we go. Okay, that's better. So now you can see there's a little more detail going on there. And I like the way that turned out. All right, let's group these. So select them all, hit Control G, select them all, hit Control G. We now have a group of toes. We want to copy this out, Control C, Control V, and then cut it with Control X. Then choose the ellipse in the back, the hip, and hit Control V. This will paste that new set of toes right on top of that ellipse. Now we want the coloring to be slightly darker. So we're going to select this outside toe and just go slightly darker with it. And then we're going to select that inside toe. And we're going to go probably slightly darker with that as well. We'll go with roughly that color. Yeah, that looks good. Now, take the entire group and slide it back over in there. There we go. Then we'll make it slightly smaller. So hold shift as you drag it to constrain it. Because if you don't, again, it won't size properly. Very good. And then move it where you're comfortable. I like it there. Let's change that one just a little darker, actually. Yeah, right there. We want that color separation in there. Now we'll take the entire shape. Copy and paste it with Control C, Control V, flip it, and then holding Shift, we'll just drag it over to the other side. And there you go. You now have toes on the other side. Good. This is starting to look really good. Um, let's select the entire dog, holding Shift. We'll resize it just a little bit, and we'll recenter it on the canvas. There we go. Now, if you hit E, let's drag an ellipse out at the bottom. We'll give it the same color as the dark fill on the collar. We'll give it a 30% opacity. Let's say 20%. We'll give it a 20% opacity, and then hit Control Shift down to send it to the bottom. And then center it on the dog with the snap, and then holding Alt, drag from one side to the other to reduce the size a little bit. And if you don't hold Alt, it'll do one side at a time, so I would suggest using Alt there. Very good. Now, for the nose. Um, that's really the only element left to do, I think. So let's take and let's see what kind of shape we have. Let's go up and let's look at the shape toolbar. We're going to choose a oh, triangle. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm looking for. Um, drag it. Uh, no, control T. Let me try that. Let me try that triangle again. There is no hotkey for triangle, I see, but just go up there and select it. All right. Holding shift, you can constrain it. Let's flip it. Aha, right there. Let's round the corners on this to about 55, somewhere in there. Give it the same color as the eye. Move it into the center of the face and then just drag the size down. And this skin can be any size that you're comfortable with. I like that right about there. That looks good to me. It just kind of fits right in there. Nice. Very good. So now I'm thinking the background, I want to be like a blue. So let's choose the color on the page tab. And let's go to the blues and let's find a blue that we're happy with. I'd say somewhere in that shade. I don't want too light, too dark. So somewhere right around there. Very nice. All right. So I think this is going to be a completion. Um, I'm happy with this and I hope that the details were clear enough. If not, please leave a comment below asking any questions you may have. Thank you for joining me in this lesson. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, like, or leave a comment. Also, if you have a request for something you'd like to see me draw, please leave it in the comments below. Thank you, and have a great day.